When kids achieve seem to be finally pulling in the same direction, silly mistakes happen leading to inconsistency in their performance. However, there's still time to fix this. Kezo Chiefs employs the 4-3-3 formation with the three men midfield typically assigned distinct roles, the defender, the controller, and the creator. The defender is the defensive midfielder who shields the back four. The player in this position needs to be technically gifted and be able to read the situation around him to know where to distribute the ball upon receiving it. Here's a situation where Mart failed to do so. He was supposed to scan his surroundings before receiving the ball to check if there is a player closing in. Instead, he looked back at his goal in an attempt to make a backward pass, which resulted in an error that led to a goal. This example highlights that Mart is not a reliable player for the defensive midfield role. Mteta, on the other hand, excels in this position with an average of 3.1 interceptions per game in the few games he has played. The controller sets the tempo of the game and can be considered a box-to-box -box midfielder. A player in this position should consistently make progressive passes or carry the ball forward until a teammate positions themselves to receive a pass and advance forward. In the same clip, before Mart received the ball, he looked back at his goal for passing options, indicating his intentions to make a backward pass, instead of advancing the ball forward where he had three passing options available. A simple through ball to Castillo would have bypassed seven Sikukuni United players, creating a 3v4 situation with Castillo, Matlou, Saile, and Dupree. This would have set the stage for a promising counter-attack, given Kiza Chips' fast-paced players up front and likely resulted in a goal-scoring opportunity. This example highlights that Mart may not be the best choice for the box-to-box -box midfielder role when compared to Castillo, who has already contributed with 4 goals and 1 assist since joining Kiza Chips, demonstrating his effectiveness in both attack and defense. The creator's role is to connect the midfield with the forwards and typically create the most chances for the team. It's clear that Mart is not well suited for the attacking midfielder role and there's no need for specific examples to demonstrate this. Matlo has been performing well in the creator role. It's unfortunate that the coach decided to sacrifice him to make room for Mart in their game against Cape Town City. Team dynamics and coaching decisions can often impact the overall performance and strategy. It seems like benching Mart to explore different combinations with Arden could be a valid strategy for the coach to consider. What do you think Kizachis should do to maintain consistency? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.